name is Kim Venn. I'm the founding artistic director of Lost Nation Theater. And we are about to open a production of The Turn of the Screw. It's an adaptation of the Henry James novel written by Jeffrey Hatcher. I'm also directing the production. I'm here with the two actors who are performing here. Um, hi, my name is Lara Michelle Earle, and I'm playing the role of the governess. And I am Christopher <laughs> Shear, and I am playing the role of everyone who is not the governess. Uh, <laughs> that includes a, a narrator, uh, the gentleman who hires the governess, the little English schoolboy in the governess's care, and the housekeeper who uh, collaborates with the governess. Mm. I've done a lot of shows at Lost Nation where, where I play multiple characters. This has been a very interesting project for me because it's, uh, it's all of the same tools that we use in those kinds of comedies, but it's, it's a very thrilling and suspenseful, uh, dramatic and moody, very just viscerally chilling gothic horror. So to use those tools of comedy, but to apply them to a different genre has been a, a very interesting challenge for me. I think part of the challenge of, of uh, playing multiple characters is I, I have to keep them distinct, and that to a certain degree involves broad strokes and caricaturization, but at the same time, you know, if I'm not having an authentic experience, the audience isn't either. What's really neat about the fact that one person is playing all these characters, it, it kind of connects them in a way, and there's this ambiguity, and they kind of start to bleed together in, in a way that's a little unnerving. One moment, Chris is, is the master who hired me, and then he's the little boy, and then he's the housekeeper, and just trying to, like, keep, yeah, it, it just is very powerful um, going through the show and having them start to, to blend together. Well, the story is being told uh, in 1872, mm -hmm. like talking about a time period when people actually wrote really complex sentences and writers got paid by the word. <laughs> uh, so uh, there, it's, a, it's an incredible challenge to adapt something like that for a modern audience, I think. There are a lot of characters in the, in the source material. There's a lot, of, a lot of characters in the novel. There's, you know, like the sentences, it's very complex. So how do you boil all that down in a way that can be performed on stage? And the play has a really strong structure. It's told uh, over seven days. And during that time, uh, she unravels um, a lot, a lot of really interesting information about what's been happening at this uh, country's state in England. Because essentially, essentially, it's the governess's story, and she is telling it via the diary. And then it's also being told by this other person who read the diary and telling, who's telling something, somebody else about having read it and about you know, knowing this person. So there are layers and um, there are, uh, we talk about you know, the fact that uh, Laura plays the one character but in fact she, within that character she has different voices because it's really a storytelling and sometimes she's talking to the audience more like a narrator than a character so uh, it's really, it is, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful exploration of the art of storytelling. Hmm. This show performs at Lost Nation Theater. Uh, we're at City Hall in Montpelier, and uh, have been. This is the start of our fourth decade there. Uh, but um, it's the beginning of our season. It's our first show of our season. And it opens on April 25 and runs through for three weekends, Thursday through Sunday. And as you can see, uh, we've got a great cast, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Come see Turn of the Screw at Lost Nation Theatre. <laughs>